I have to describe our music in three words. Um, unorganized, weird, and lonely. Um, what mood do you Wait, no, 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 fuck. It's a terrible <laughs> choice of words. Uh, this is from Majestic Journal, and tonight I'm playing at the Echoplex for an after-school program for underprivileged kids called Loud. And I'm really excited to be able to give back to the community. Are you ready? I'm gonna head out. Love you. Bye. Well, I got into music when I was like eight, but I mean, I never had like money to buy like all the equipment I liked, you know? I don't know if I can inspire at least one of them. To like be like, oh damn, like I want to do that when I'm older, and like that'd be really cool, you know. Being first generation, but also being a first generation, like an only child, it's kind of like the pressure to be successful and actually be somebody was like just there. Like, you're either gonna be the pride of your family or like the disappointment of your family. What's up, baby? Yeah, LA just tends to be very competitive, but I think music, I mean, music isn't supposed to be that. Like, music's supposed to be you wanting to work with people around you. Yo. We got a big crowd tonight, huh? I'm just used to being anxious, like, 24-7, so... I just kind of deal with that. But it's funny because I feel very comfortable on stage. But other than that, like I'm in any other social environment, I'm just like. I'm feeling good. Hello, my name is Dre Demira, and welcome to episode two of the Loudcast. We're here live from Loudfest, May 19th, in the Loud RV, and I'm here with our very, very, very special guest, Kuko. What's good? Who may be listening who aren't aware of what the Loud program is. We're a non for profit arts initiative that gives students around the nation an opportunity to get a first rate um, arts education in music and film. So, you brand yourself as a Mexican American Chicano artist. Yeah. Can you define Chicano in your own words? Well, I guess from my perspective, growing up, not being classified as like fully American, but also you're not entirely Mexican because the two culture clashes that kind of exist here. It was kind of like that middle ground that exists between being Mexican and being American. I think that, like the main thing for me is I'm very proud of where I'm from and like my roots, you know, like. There's kids that tell me like, yo, like it's so dope seeing you up there because it's like, you look like me, you know. Thank you, I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. I just think it's important to represent our community well. What would you offer to a young person who may want to take that step and start their first band? Honestly, start a band with your homies. Just love what you do. Like, you'll feel it. It won't be forced. Like, if you love it before you realize it, your dreams and goals as an artist are going to happen. Key, like when you think about it, it's like, hey man, like broken heart to take places. I sing a lot about love. 
it always seemed unreachable for me, you know, like, it, even now it's hard to believe, like, that people love me. It's, like, unreal. Give it up for Kuko! Music for me represents um, salva salvation for me. My mental health issues have always been like really fucked. So it's always kept me sane, like to write and being able to put out music. I feel like I'm not there at the moment when I'm making my music. Almost ethereal. Thank you.